Good evening, people of the National Democratic Institute, people of Washington, D.C., people of America. I am sorry I cannot be with you tonight, especially to pay tribute to a personal hero of mine, my friend, Secretary Madeleine Albright. I know she was a hero to all of you, too. I was honored to stand on this stage a few years ago and for Secretary Albright to present me an award, not because of the award itself, but because it came from such an important institution and from the hands of one proud immigrant to another. These days, it is easy to feel that the values of democracy that Secretary Albright fought for are under attack at home and abroad. I have seen it myself in communities throughout Ukraine, at border crossings throughout Eastern Europe, where I arrived in February within days of the Russian invasion, and where the NGO I founded, World Central Kitchen, has served nearly 200 million meals with the help of thousands of Ukrainian men and women and hundreds of local restaurants and partners. There are many ways to defend democracy and fight for freedom. Some defend our borders and protect our allies. But teachers, journalists, humanitarian workers, artists, and yes, even chefs, everybody has a way to fight for what is right. Because that's how we strengthen democracy. One action at a time, one individual at a time, that collectively sends a message that resonates throughout the world. That's what I've seen in Ukraine and in so many other places where humanitarian disasters and the climate crisis have created darkness. But Secretary Albright taught me that every voice matters, every action matters, and that there is nothing more noble than empowering those whose voices are too often unheard and whose actions are too often unseen then and only then will we uphold her legacy and see that democracy and justice can prevail. Thank you.